Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 15. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the box model in HTML and CSS. But the box model actually consists of four different parts. So in this video, we are going to be specifically focusing on the padding. But let's go ahead and just make a header real quickly and uh, we'll get started and I'll show you guys everything that we need to know. So I'm going to start off with heading one and ending heading one. And in here, we'll just type something like I'm a box. Okay. So now we can go ahead and save that. And uh, I'm just going to make sure that I run this in Firefox. And as you can see, we've just got a plain old header printed out on our screen. So there's nothing special about this. But what if I told you that this header and that every single other element that you ever put in the body of your web page is actually a box. Well, if you guys don't believe me, let me go ahead and show you real quick. Okay, so let's go to our CSS folder over here and I'm gonna select that heading one and uh, then what I'm gonna do is uh, give it a background color. So background color of yellow and that way it'll look like it was kind of highlighted so now when we click refresh you can start to see that we actually do indeed have a box on our web page okay so right now we've only filled in the background color of this box but there are four different parts to this box okay so the first part is the content which is uh, the writing that is inside this box, uh, in this case just being I'm a box, okay? Then there is a second part called the padding and the padding is the space around the outside of our content but still inside of this yellow background, okay? So the padding would be how much space bet we have between where this yellow starts here and where our words actually start um, further up okay then we've got the border and the border is basically a decorative pattern that we can put all the way around our element uh, but you can't see it right now because we haven't actually uh, set one with CSS so we're gonna have to learn how to do that in the next video okay and then there is something called the margin and the margin goes outside the border and it is basically the amount of white space that you have around the outside of your box, okay? So in other words, the space between the side of my browser here and where this yellow uh, box starts, that would be the margin, okay? So let's uh, go back to our notepad over here and let's just play around with the padding a little bit more seeing as this tutorial is about padding and uh, all we need to do to access the padding property is obviously just type the word padding so as easy as that okay and now we can set this equal to a value of like 50 px which stands for 50 pixels and this should mean we should now have 50 pixels of space inside of our header okay so when I go back and click refresh you can see we now have a really big gap on the top and on the left on the bottom and that space would actually appear on the right as well if we had enough content so I think what I'll do is just go back here and we can copy that and just paste it a couple times just to make sure that that actually goes over two lines Okay, and as you can see, we've got the 50 pixels of space on this side as well. But we might not always want to have 50 pixels all the way around. We might want the top and the left to be different. So we might want the top and the bottom to be the same, and we might want the left and the right to be the same, but they'll be different from each other. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, I wanted the top to have something like 10 pixels, okay? Then I would go padding dash top, okay? And if I wanted the 
bottom to have 10 pixels, then I could say padding dash uh, bottom, and I meant to say dash bottom <laughs> 10 pixels, and uh, then we can go ahead and just go padding left, and I've made this mistake every single time now. <laughs> okay, padding left, and we could set that equal to something like 20 pixels, so we'd have more space on the left than on the right. I think let's just make that like uh, 60 pixels so we can see the difference. And padding on the right, we could set that equal to uh, like 60 pixels as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that, click refresh. And now you can see we actually have 10 pixels on the top, 10 pixels of space on the bottom, 60 pixels on the left and 60 pixels of space on the right. Okay, but it might get a little bit tedious writing your CSS this way. So there is another way to do this, a little bit of a shortcut, okay? And we can just type in the word padding and now we can give it four different values starting with the value for the top. So we can say that the top needs to be 10 pixels. Then it goes top, right, bottom, left, okay? So now we're working with the right, which we can say needs to be 80 pixels or something. Then we're working with uh, the left, uh, top right, bottom left, okay? So we're working with the bottom. Let's just set that equal to zero pixels. And then the left we can set equal to 30 pixels. And so now we basically have all the measurements different on each side. And let's just add in a comment over here. So it goes top, right, bottom, left. That is how you add in your padding when you're working with a shortcut like this. Okay. And now you can see we've actually got zero pixels of space on the bottom. Um, you, doesn't, you can't really see it that well, but there are actually zero pixels. The only reason why there's a bit of uh, space here is because this line in the paragraph actually has a bit of line height as well, okay? Uh, but then we've got, um, let's see what our measurements were again, 10, 80, 0, 30, okay? So 10 pixels of space on the, bo uh, on the top, 80 pixels on the right, 0 on the bottom, and then the last value was 30, so 30 pixels on the left. And wait, that's not all, okay? Because there is actually one more shortcut that I wanna show you guys. Uh, and that is being, if you wanted the top and the bottom to be the same, and then you wanted the left and the right to be the same, you could also do it this way. So you could also go ahead and say 10 pixels and then uh, 40 pixels. And this basically means top and bottom will be 10 pixels and left and right will be 40 pixels. So when we go ahead and save this now, uh, we should get top and bottom 10 pixels and then left and right have a space of 40 pixels on each side as well. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.